What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires with Jeep Guy exploring a brand new map. Now this map is called, uh, basically like Tahoma underscore Tahoe, and it's based off of the first section of the Rubicon Trail, which is really, really cool. Now, we're not going to be able to explore the whole thing in this first episode, I mean, I can tell you that right off the bat, but I will say we're going to try and explore as much as we can, and then we, you guys will see some, uh, some episodes of this particular map coming later on. So, I'm going to go ahead and outfit my truck just a little bit, my, uh, my MJ. We're going to stick a Pitbull Spare in the back, and we're going to do a um, High Lift Jack. And that's pretty much all I need. I don't really need that much. Um, so, uh, Jeep Guy is going to be in a, uh, is going to be in Spun's YJ, and Spun's new YJ. And is actually, is that, uh, actually no, sorry, that's not Spun's new YJ, that's Brute's new YJ. We're both on Pitbull Rockers, which is pretty damn cool. And, uh, which way do you want to go? You're trying to flex on the damn rock. You're <laughs> yeah, try, trying to. And I am definitely not... Well, there goes that... Well, I broke it. There goes that thumbnail. Oh, well. I'll find a better one later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> struggle. Let's go, uh... Let's... Let's go... Hmm... I'll let you pick. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which way to go. Uh, follow me. Follow me. Uh, we'll go... We'll go right. Like, right this way. No, uh, right this way, not not right. <laughs> right this way, sir. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, immediately off the bat, they put you into, like, a trail environment. Ooh, mall crawlers, I'm on the road. Yeah! <laughs> My Jeep's a mall crawler right now. Yeah. Oh, God. It, okay, watch no, out for that it, hole. It, your Jeep's not a mall crawler right now. Your Jeep is broken in my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, watch out for that hole. It's kind of nasty. It pops up on your beard. That's what she said. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> okay, my only complaint about this so far, because this is my, like, I think this is, like, my first time driving this. I can't remember. That Jeep, yeah. That Jeep is brand new. Transmission. Put it in constantly low. Want, it constantly wants to shift up and down. Yeah, put it in low. That transmission sucks. Oh, this is cool. This little climb up a hill by the uh, by the water. Yeah, I gotta climb it in low. Oh, I'm dude. I'm in low three. Like I, I put it in low three right off the bat. I didn't even mess with the automatic. That Jeep's got really good grip, though. I can tell you that. I've used it a lot. Yeah, it's just this mud kind of bogs it down a bit, and I gotta drop down to lower gears. Just like your Jeep. My that <laughs> my Jeep. I just keep it in like first. You're here. Everywhere. Oh god, this just got steep. So I'm upset that. There we go. We Whoa. Uh, I'm upset, but I'm also not upset because I knew the footage would have been garbage. Of my, can I really not climb up? Please? You should be able to go around the edge. That's what I had to. Um, that we didn't get to record that night that we went out. Everybody, everybody knows on like this side of that all of like North Carolina and Georgia got hit by snow. Yeah. And we got like six inches and we like me seven. And seven? Yeah. And me and Tom Gabin at first hit, it was like what, nine o'clock at night and we're like, let's go get in the Jeeps and go get people out. And I snow. got stuck. And he got stuck in the first like leaving my house got <laughs> stuck in the first couple seconds. Like literally let me check the map real quick to make sure of where we're going. Uh Yeah, we can go this way. Okay. Um yeah, so we leave Jeep Guy's house, and we're like, yeah, this is going to be good, right? You know, it's going to be great. We were like, yeah, snow. Yeah, we came around a corner, and uh, and there was ice. And I, like, I was going maybe like 10 miles an hour, if yeah. that. And, you know, turned the wheel on the Jeep, and the Jeep nothing just, happened. the Jeep, nothing happened. <laughs> the Jeep just went forward, and, um, and it just was real slow. It was almost like in slow motion, the Jeep kind of just plopped itself down in a ditch. And I was like, uh, Jeep guy? Can I have a pull? <laughs> no, that's the funniest thing about, like, sliding in the snow. It's like, oh no, there's a wall. Oh no, we're gonna hit it at one mile an hour. Oh <laughs> no! It's the longest wait ever. Yeah, you, well, you have time to think about it. You're like, man. So what was going on? You're, you're like, well, I'm about to slide into this ditch in the snow, but while I've got time, let me just make a couple phone calls. Let me call yeah. my, uh, let me call my dad real quick. Talk to him about like what's 
you know, just been going on, catch up with my family. Oh, we're almost to the ditch now, about halfway there. That's that's what it's like in the snow. <laughs> yeah, but it was really cool. Unfortunately, like we said, it was like, oh, I gotta, I'm just gonna bench over this because this is kind of like weird texture here, and I'm getting stuck in a tree. Dude, holy hell, the damn grip on this MJ is crazy. Pulled me all the way up. This is super steep too. Yeah, that that's like my only complaint about GoPro cameras is that they don't record at night for anything. Yeah, they they don't they don't do well at all at night. They they're pretty crap at night actually. Um, I think the thing the only reason why is because that's kind of like a trade off you get with an action camera. Do you want to pull? Yeah, I'm just okay. sitting here spitting. Come on. Should be good in just a second. There you okay. go. No big deal. Uh, oh, come on. Now, oh, this is interesting now. Ooh, let's let's see this. This got oh. a little this got a little bit more Rubicon-ish. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying not to flip over. I think that's gonna be a big uh concern with like but the thing is the Rubicon has a lot of like rocky gulches. So this is pretty uh Dude! Look at this look at this crap on your map. Oh we're about to have fun. Holy hell. That's nasty, but it it looks fun, it's just like nasty as hell. Alright. There's an actual objective on this map, oh god. <laughs> Delivering lumber. <laughs> one one log at a time. Literally, yeah, you'd have to do one log at a time. Oh, oh, the... <laughs> you almost ate it. Not quite, but you almost did. See, this is cool because it's a combination of it's like, it's got like the gulchy kind of trails of what we have here in the east, but out west they have like r rocks thrown everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of funny, like, exactly like what you say, but except for we have lots of dirt. Dirt, mud, mud and, gulches, they have hills. Gul they have, uh, like, rock gulches that they gotta climb through. They're like, well, canyons, basically. Yeah. Like, goals are definitely the one they get out to Moab. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, most of the wheeling out west is all on rocks. Yeah. It's like, it's all on rocks. The thing is, and, like, none of us have any rock experience. We have some, we have mud experience, we have experience with, like, mud hills and stuff like that, but rocks, like, just straight up rocks, we don't really have any experience with that. But the, at the same time, I wouldn't mind trying it out. Yeah, it'd be different. I mean, I guess technically, like, you see all the videos where they don't have grip, but it's kind of weird because you think you'd have grip. But you don't. You, well, but, yeah. you sometimes but, I mean, do. It's like you're on concrete, but you're not getting traction with air down. 37s. Well, the thing is, some rocks you do, but the thing is, like you said in Moab, one of the biggest things that you have to be aware of is there's this this stuff out there that I think it would be a little bit sketchy the first time you tried it, and that's slick rock. Yeah. Slick rock seems kind of sketchy, but I've heard that as long as you hit it from, like, as long as you hit it at a good angle and you keep consistent speed, you'll be okay. Now where does this? Holy crap! This is this is weird. Like you almost have to figure out where the trail goes. Pretty sure it goes up here. I think. Holy crap! So what is all this news about this game right here? Which if nobody's heard this, I'm about to blow their minds. Oh, you need to go. Yeah, stay left. I'm going the wrong way. You need to stay left. Okay. Um, I'm about to probably blow some people's minds. I've been hearing rumors of this game coming out for Xbox and PlayStation. This game? Spin Tires? Yeah. I have been... Well, the only thing is I've been I've been wondering if those rumors were even real or not. I've been hearing that they were, like, disproven. Because, like, because the developers said the game wouldn't really work properly on consoles. Um, and I can kind of see how, I can kind of see how it wouldn't because, like, look at it this way. This game is driven so much by mods that that's, the only- That's what I said. Somebody caught, somebody was like, hey, what do you think about it coming? I was like, it won't be the same. They were like, oh, that's just because you're more used to PC. I'm like, no, you no. won't have mods. There's no 
There's no mod support. Well, I wouldn't play this game anymore if it if it didn't have mods. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, that like everybody remembers the old glitch on Forza Horizon 3 with the wide body kits where you could put different bumpers. I'm upset that because I did that too because you could make some beautiful looking show cars. Yeah. And just cool looking unique cars out of it, and then they took it away, and I was like, Oh shit! Oh, are you dying? Uh... You are... You're, you're dead, actually. I'm... Okay. <laughs> well, it's gonna fall... Yeah, it's gonna fall over in a certain way, but... There. Sorry for rolling into you. <laughs> but, yeah, like I was, I got really upset when they took it out, because I was like, that's something really cool. No! Like... And again. I'm, g I'm ah! good now. <laughs> but it was something really cool that they should have kept that they didn't well it was probably because you know there's things there's like manufacturer constraints or like body kit constraints where it's like well we don't want our body kit to be used with that bumper because it's not actually available for that bumper it's just like you know automotive politics and stuff like that but you know yeah, but uh, then again you can always say well somebody's out there has done it Oh, they have. It's just like, like... I, for God's sake, somebody um, put a Viper uh, bumper and uh, somebody made they call they called it the Mini Viper, and it's a Miata. It's a yellow Mi ND <laughs> Miata with a Viper front bumper. Wow! And like a Viper style hood. Oh my God, that's 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 really funny. Actually, that's hilarious. Now it looks pretty cool though. Stop up here, right about at this tower, because I want to see whereabouts we're at and I want to kind of plan out our next route uh, that we're gonna take because this actually and I want to flex on this stump oh yeah oh yes that's awesome nope. <laughs> mine's flexed up pretty well actually and I broke it awesome find another one another one and another one Actually, let me see about- oh, crap, I broke that oh. one. Well, I guess I got a lift kit now. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, sure. Sure it counts. Um, but hey, hey, Scuzz stop, me. stop. Scuzz, God dang Scuzz it. Excuse me. Excuse me. God, Sir. D d what are you doing? Now don't touch that. <laughs> Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed this first episode of Exploring This Map, don't forget to leave us a like, tell us in the comments below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to me, subscribe to Jeep Guy, I'll have his link down below as well, and we'll see you guys in the next one, talk to you guys later, hope you guys enjoyed.